When investing, there's no reason to compromise your ethics or morals. Nowadays, people have more power over their investment choices than ever, so the field of opportunity doesn't need to be limited by your lifestyle choices. One such example of ethical investing is Islamic finance. It's basically a financial system which operates according to Islamic law or is Sharia compliant. It features banks, capital markets, fund managers, investment firms and insurance companies just like traditional financial systems. Islamic finance does however differ according to the principles by which it operates. Firstly, it prohibits interest, meaning investors can't actually gain financially by having cash in the bank. Secondly, it steers clear of uncertainty-based transactions, so if you're looking for a high-risk, high-return investment, it may not be the right choice for you. This principle did, however, see the Islamic finance world better weather the storm of the 07 GFC than most conventional financial systems. Gambling is a big no-no, and not just placing a bet, you're also prohibited from investing in shares of companies that are in any way associated with gaming, so the likes of Tattersalls or Tabcorp would be out. Islamic finance participants also have to avoid investing in prohibited industries, so no beer or alcohol companies, no gaming groups and no Ponzi-type investment schemes. While Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia is the home of Islamic finance, it isn't just popular among Muslim nations or Muslim people. Nowadays, every major financial hub has a huge Islamic finance representation with all of the big financial institutions operating in this space. Unfortunately though, because Islamic finance emerged from Middle Eastern nations where disclosure still often doesn't exist, there is a lack of comprehensive and consistent data. Illustrating this point are the wide differences among estimates of global Islamic banking assets, which ranged from one trillion US dollars to one and a half trillion in 2012. But it is getting better. According to the Thomson Reuters 2014 Global Islamic Asset Management Report, since 2007, Islamic assets under management have risen by 24%. A research note by the Kuwait Financial House estimates global Islamic finance assets under management to grow to 6.5 trillion US by 2020. If you're still unsure, then another thing to think about is that if it's good enough for some of the world's largest sovereign wealth funds, then it's likely good enough for you. The main thing to remember though is that given the power of choice as an investor, you never need to compromise on your ethics or morals. There's a little bit of something out there for everyone. Inshallah.